All right. So, for those who have not seen this, this is my Mossberg 500 12 gauge shotgun. I bought this, I don't know, a couple days ago. <laughs> there you go. I have a safety lock on it right now, so you wouldn't be able to load it or even like get this to go. But yeah, my Mossberg 500, I decided to go with this one here. I've been looking for a shotgun for a while now. This fit my budget and it fit everything else also. I'll be hunting ducks and deer with this shotgun. Yeah, take a look at it. <laughs> That's pretty nice. So like, when I first got this, I was pretty like frightened of it. Like I was scared to load ammo into it and then unload it and everything. Um, and let me show you how I do it. Gotta unlock this first though. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. I have uh, a lot of my ammo in this box right now. Check that out. <laughs> so I have different types here. So like this right here. Um, there you go. I'm not sure if you can read that or if that even makes sense to anyone. But uh, yeah, this will be good for ducks or fowl. Um, birds and stuff. Uh, this is a non-toxic round. Um, it's not lead based. It's something else. I think it's like steel or something. And then I have this right here. This is a uh, slug, a rifled slug. And so this will be able to shoot deer and stuff. This right here uh, for trapping or trap shooting or something like that. Uh, this is meant to shoot like clay discs and stuff like that. And I got this also. This is a different, this is a different slug. It's also a rifled slug though, uh, for shooting deer. This one here is really cool. Like it's a pointed bullet. Um, it's a pointed slug. Um, and uh, this is not rifled though. So I wouldn't be, like I would be able to shoot it out of my shotgun, but it won't be as accurate, but it, it would still fly straight for the most part though, but like it would be best to shoot this out of a rifled barrel. But I have not gone shooting yet. I still have to go to the range and I'm gonna probably do that in the next day or two and uh, see if uh, I can check it out and bring my gun and give this, a, <laughs> give this a test run. Otherwise, I might be able to meet up with Jake and go on his property again and shoot. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so I'm not really sure just yet. But I actually spent some time cutting these open and uh, I was just taking a look at it, dissect it and everything and uh, it's really really cool. I'll make a separate video specifically on that. But let me show you how I load this. We gotta practice safety first. So this right here is where the safety is. When it's red like that, it means shoot. I just say when you see red, it means kill. And so that means it's you can shoot right now. Like this, when you pull it back all the way, when you can't see that red, it means it's on safe. Here's where you load your first round. I just take this, place it there. See, it's just sitting like this at an angle. You just go like that and it brings it up. And then you just pull. And now it is loaded. And if I put this off, now it's on fire. I can actually shoot right now. But we're not going to do that. We're going to pull this back down. Now I'm going to flip it upside down. And this is the magazine where I can load more ammo. Like this. The magazine holds about four, and then this holds one. And so in total, I have five shots. And so, that's ready to go. Right now, if I'm ready to shoot, I just push this up and pull the trigger. But, 
we're going to unload it now. And so that was the scariest part for me in the beginning. Like when I loaded this like this, I was really scared. But I uh, started familiarizing myself with all of this. I watched videos and stuff. And now I am pretty much confident on how to do this safely. And so this right, this lever right here is called the action and it allows me to pretty much push this back down and so like right now it's locked because there's a round in here but I can press the action and now I can pull this back and now it takes the round out but I need to go a little faster there you go and so that round flies right out I can go like this and I can pop this one out Now, there's this, uh, there's this sort of lever or something that I press down and I can now pull this out. There you go. And now I've removed everything. This is visually and physically clear. And this right here, the barrel is physically and visually clear. Safety is still on, and this is safe. We're good. So yeah, that's my shotgun. I'm interested in survival and self-reliance. And self-reliance goes into hunting. And then the best and easiest way to hunt right now is the modern way. So with a rifle or with a shotgun, or just a gun in general, it's the best and easiest way to get into that sport or get into that sort of lifestyle, right? Later on, I can learn more about primitive hunting and so I like bows and arrows and such, um, but I would probably start with a compound bow or something like that um, and then work my way backwards. I always imagined kind of doing everything from scratch, you know, but I've learned and come to realize that in order to start doing stuff from scratch, you need to know how to do it not from scratch first, effectively and efficiently, you know? So like, let's say for example, um, flint, like flint napping and uh, making like knives out of rocks and stuff like that, right? There are modern ways on how to do it. Uh, with more modern tools and stuff like that. Uh, I need to learn how to do that first and then work my way backwards into like flint napping with just rocks and stuff like that. And so, or antlers and stuff. And so um, it's the same thing with any other skill that I'm trying to learn. And so I need to learn more modern version of it and then I can simplify it backwards later. And and firearms in general, like I'm scared of them. Like guns and all of that, I'm scared of them. Uh, but I don't want to be scared of them anymore. And so I like to learn about it and handle it and understand it, respect it. So that way I can handle it safely around myself and then others. So like right now, I'm fairly confident on how to unload and load this weapon. And uh, I know and understand the safety. I know to not point this side at anything that I don't plan on shooting. And so, yeah, I'm practicing all the safety things that would be necessary when you go on a hunt. Or it's just safety for daily use or handling. 